started, I did want to let you know that there's a Spotify playlist linked down in the description that you can listen to alongside this video. I'll give you a moment to get that situated. When you're ready, meet me down on your mat, finding a comfortable seated position, whatever that's going to look like for you. You can go cross-legged, legs out in front of you. You can sit in a long butterfly, wherever you're feeling good, wherever you feel comfortable today, go ahead and take it there. Your hands can come right to the tops of your legs. Let's take a big roll of the shoulders as we open up through the chest. I want you to feel as if your shoulder blades are just kind of rolling down the backside of your body. We'll reach the crown of the head up towards the ceiling. And from right here, we take an inhale, fill everything up with air. We'll exhale out as we let everything go. Good, we'll go for three, big inhale. And then exhale out, let it go. Good, let's go for two, big inhale. And then exhale out, let it go. Good, last one, big inhale. And then exhale out, let everything go. Good. With that, let's exhale. Let's take the legs so they go all the way out in front of us, right about in the center of your mat. Your feet can reach out towards the corners of your mat. You can put a little bend at the knees, flex your feet, pulling toes to nose, reaching the heels forward, and then take your arms so that they reach out in front of you. We'll take an inhale right here as we sit up tall, reach the crown of the head up towards the ceiling. On an exhale, let's pull in from the center of the body. Think about pulling your hips and your rib cage a little bit closer towards each other as you start to roll things down towards the mat. And you'll move nice and slow, no need to rush. This is still part of our warm up. We're right about at the mid back. Shoulder blades will go down, head goes down, arms will reach back overhead. This is where you know if you're too close to your furniture. Inhale right here. And then exhale, we'll lift the arms back up above the shoulders. Start to press the hands down towards the legs, tucking chin to chest, lifting right about to the base of the shoulder blades. This is the tricky part. We start to roll ourselves all the way up to seated, restacking shoulders on top of hips, and then rounding forward through the upper back as if I'm there with you pulling on your fingertips. Let's do that three more times. We'll inhale to sit up tall. Exhale, we draw in from the center of the body as you bring things down. Slow, slow, slow. Good, can you go slower than that? Good, slower than that. If you need to bend your knees and plant your feet down in order to take this movement, go ahead and do that. Inhale, reach the arms back. And then big exhale, lift the arms above the shoulders, press the hands towards the tops of the legs, start to tuck chin to chest, lifting up through the shoulder blades, pressing into the hips, pressing into the heels. You always have the option to take your hands down to the mat right here. Give yourself a little bit of assistance on the way up. That works totally fine. Let's go for two more. I need to scoot forward, big inhale right here. Exhale as we round it through the spine, rolling things down to the mat, nice and slow. Shoulders go down, head goes down, arms reach back, big inhale. And then exhale, lift the arms, press the hands towards the tops of the legs, tuck chin to chest as you roll yourself all the way up through seated and then round it forward through the upper back, reaching over for the toes. Just for one more, we sit up tall and then draw in from the belly button as you roll things down. Good, shoulder blades go down, head goes down, arms reach back, big inhale. And then one final time, we'll exhale, lift the arms, press the hands towards the tops of the legs, tuck your chin to your chest, tuck your chin to your chest, roll yourself all the way up. Words get tricky, they just do. We'll come all the way up and then inhale, round it forward through the upper back as you reach over for the toes. Good, from right here, we're coming back up through seated. If you'd like to keep your legs all the way out, if that's gonna be possible for you with your hamstring flexibility, keep them there. If you need a little bend in your knees, go ahead and bend your knees, okay? Arms stay out in front of you. We'll take an inhale as we rotate the upper body over towards the right. On an exhale, you start to roll things down towards the mat. We're just gonna go about halfway. Right about here is perfect. Inhale and then exhale, bring it right back up. Okay, we'll keep moving like that just on the right side. We roll down about halfway, inhale, and then exhale, take it right back up. Good, let's go for three. For two, and bent knees, feet flat is totally fine. Or even up on the heels with the toes lifted. This is our last one. 
Good, we'll come all the way up through seated, take the arms through center, and then we'll hit that same thing on the other side. Twisting the upper body over towards the left, we inhale to sit up tall, exhale, draw in from the belly button, roll things just about halfway down. Good, inhale here, exhale as you roll it back up. You think about using the left side of your body, your left side oblique to bring yourself back up through center. Good, again, bent knees works totally fine. Let's go for three, inhale and then exhale, take it up. We'll go for two. And then last one. Good, we'll come all the way up, reach those arms out through center. And then again, we're gonna roll all the way down towards the mat, inhaling as we sit up tall, uh, exhaling to round through the spine, taking things down towards the mat. It does not have to be beautiful, it does have to be slow though. Shoulders go down, head goes down. Once you get all the way down to the mat, pull your knees in. Your feet will come about hips distance apart on your mat and then we'll bring the hands so they come behind the head. You'll open up through your elbows, reaching out towards the sides of the room, press down into your heels, press down into your hips. Big exhale as you tuck chin to chest, you start to lift the shoulder blades up off of the mat, looking towards the tops of your legs or even down towards your belly button. Inhale as you slowly release and let things go. Big exhale, we come up. Inhale, everything comes back down. Good, big exhale, we lift. Inhale, we take it right back down. Okay, now you take this at your own pace. Okay, if you need to move a little bit slower than this or you need to take a pause in between reps, please do that. Good, if you start to feel tension in your neck, I need you to pause. Before you even lift your head up, I need you pulling the rib cage inward towards each other and then pushing back a little bit. That's where we get the strength to lift up. It's not a neck strength thing. It's a core strength thing, right? So we pull in, big exhale. And then inhale, everything comes back down. Good. Let's just go for four more. It's four. For three. for two, and then last one. Good, everything comes down, left hand stays behind the head, right arm is gonna reach up above your shoulder. From here, we take an exhale as you reach the right arm up and over to the outside of your left leg. Inhale, we'll come down through center, pause right here. Open the right arm out to the right side of the room. Again, you're going to lift up through the upper body, reach the right hand towards the right heel, okay? We'll come back down through center, lift the right arm, reach up and over to the outside of the left leg, bring it down, open, reach up and around to the right leg, okay? If you're confused, just pause for a second. You can go back a couple seconds on this video and then rejoin me when you feel ready, when you feel confident in the movement. It's a two-part movement, right? <sighs> Lift the right arm, we go up and over to the left. Open the arm, we're reaching towards the right, okay? Once you feel good right here, we'll start to add on a little bit of movement through the legs. <sighs> Good. As we come up and over to the outside of the left leg, I want you lifting the right knee above the hip. Inhale, everything will come down through center. We'll open the arm. And now you start to come towards the right side of the body, lifting the left leg up. Right away, that's gonna create some instability in your pelvis, so I need you to make sure you're pressing evenly into both hips. You're using the opposite foot for a little bit of support. Good, I'm gonna keep moving with you because I know I do some things that are a little bit complicated. So if you're not 100% sure, pause for a second. Good, arm lifts up. We go across the body, lifting the right leg. Inhale, everything comes back down. We open the right arm out to our side, pull the right hand in as we lift the left leg up. Good.
Let's just do two more right here and then I'm gonna make it more complicated for you. This is two. And then last one. Good, with your last one, everything comes down through center. Take a second, take a breath. If you'd like to keep your feet down on the mat, if you feel more comfortable here, keep it right there. If you're ready to do more, both knees lift up above your hips. Separate your knees so that they're at least about a fist distance apart, shins parallel to the ceiling. We'll hit that same movement, right arm reaching up above the shoulder. We're just gonna go right out the gate, arm movement, leg movement, so let me walk you through. Right arm above the shoulder, left hand stays behind the head. We'll exhale to crunch up and over to the outside of the left leg as we tap the right toes down towards the mat. Inhale, everything comes down through center, right arm opens out. You'll reach the right hand towards the right hip as you lower the left toes down towards the mat. So it's a little side bend over towards the right. Everything comes down. We go up and over to the left, right toes come down, everything lowers. Now you don't have to tap your toes to the mat. It might not happen for everybody and that's okay. I keep hitting my microphone. I need to put it in a different spot. Let's see if that works. <laughs> Good. I know I'm making your body work and making your mind think at the same time. That's the worst part about Pilates. <laughs> Just kidding, there are worse things, but <laughs> let's go for two. And then last one. Good, with your last one, everything can come in. You'll pull the knees towards the chest, take a second, take a breather. Okay, before we hit the other side, we're gonna do a little bit of an interlude, all right? We'll roll over so that we come onto our right side. You're coming all the way down, reaching the right arm out to the top of your mat. Legs are reaching out. I want you to imagine that you are a human pencil or a human toothpick. Left hand comes in front of you, pressing up and away from the mat. We'll keep the upper body still. You squeeze those legs together. This is an oblique exercise, all right? We exhale, lift the legs up, squeezing through that left side oblique. Inhale as everything comes back down. Just for six more, we go six. Press up and away from the mat with the left hand for five. Four. For three. Good, two. And then last one. Good, everything comes down. You're gonna roll right over so that you come face down onto your mat. Hands go behind you, legs are reaching back behind you. Feet about hips distance apart, maybe wider if that feels more comfortable. And then you can start with your chest and your head all the way down to the mat. I'm gonna stay lifted just so that I don't smash the mic, you know? <laughs> I want to be mindful of our, our headphone users today. Reach those fingertips back behind you. Give me a bit, big exhale as you lift the chest, lift the legs off of the mat. Inhale as everything comes back down. Big exhale, we lift up. Inhale, everything comes back down. Good, for two more, we lift up and then lower down. Last one, you're gonna lift up and hold. Keep it right here, fingertips reaching back, start to kick through your legs, little tiny kicks. Little tiny kicks, there we go. This is why I don't have my candle burning because I would kick it over and start a fire and we don't want that. <laughs> okay, keep kicking through your legs. We add on with the arms, taking the left arm, you're going to sweep it out by your side, reach the left arm in front of you, and then bring it back by your side. Same thing on the right, sweep it out, reach that right arm forward and then sweep it back. I have to bend my elbow because I put myself too close to the wall. So <laughs> just be mindful that you're not hitting anything around you, just reaching the arm forward, pulling it back, still kicking through the legs. We'll hang here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everything can come in, hands underneath the shoulders, press yourself all the way up and back, and then reach your hips towards your heels to find a child's pose. Good. 
Okay, from right here, we're going to set up so that now we come over onto the left side of the body. We'll do our little interlude right there. Okay, everything goes down, your legs go out, your left arm reaches out as well. So it's one, one long line from the middle finger on your left side all the way down to your toes um, through both legs. Right hand comes in front of you. We're squeezing into that right side oblique but before we even start to move. Big exhale, the legs lift up. Ooh. Inhale, they lower back down. I have a much harder time on this side. Big exhale, everything lifts. Inhale, everything lowers. We're going for six more. It's six. Good, for five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Good, everything comes down. Take a second, take a breather. We're gonna roll things back over onto our back. You can bend at your knees right away. Take your head down, shoulders down, all of that good stuff, okay? From here, we're just going to reset. Same series that we did um, to start. Hands will come behind the head. You'll interlace the fingers together, open up through the elbows, reaching the elbows out towards the sides of the room. We exhale as we pull the bottom two tips of the rib cage together. We push them back towards our mat. Think about pressing the spine down into the mat. Big exhale, we lift everything up. Inhale slowly, we lower everything back down. Big exhale, we go up. Inhale, everything comes down. We're doing six more like this, and then we do our nice big combo movement. Six. For five. For four, keep it nice and slow. Don't worry, you'll get opportunities to pick things up throughout the challenge, I, don't you worry. Don't you even worry. This will be four. But not every class has to be the hardest possible thing. You don't have to walk away from it a sweaty mess. This is two. And then last one. Good. Everything comes down. Take a second. Take a breath. Let me readjust my top right here. Um, Left hand stays behind the head. Right arm is going to reach up above your shoulder. When you're ready to move, we can keep the feet down, no problem. You'll take a big, wait, nope. <laughs> right hand behind the head, left arm above the shoulder. I knew that was wrong. We take a big exhale. You'll crunch up through head, neck, and shoulders, reaching the left hand to the outside of the right leg. Inhale, everything comes down through center. Pause, open the left arm out by your side. We do a little side bend over, reaching the left hand towards the left foot lifted up through the shoulder blades. We come back, we lift the arm, we go up and over, take things down, open, and then reach. Now maybe this side feels a little bit more natural for you, maybe it doesn't. For me it feels a little clunky, and that's okay. The first side definitely felt more natural. If you can make this um, a fluid movement, I would go for it, you know? But if robotic and segmented works for you, go ahead and take it there. Good. All right. Good opportunity to check in with your breath. Are you breathing or are you holding your breath? Hopefully you're not holding your breath. Good, and if you feel like you're being obnoxious, just lean into it. A Pilates teacher's favorite thing is to hear you breathe. Good, okay, let's add on with the legs. Are you ready? I'm ready, let's go on the next rep. Okay, we take the left hand to the outside of the right leg. You lift the left leg up, knee in line with the hip. Everything lowers down, and then we reach towards the outside of the left foot, lifting the right leg up. Everything comes down. We go up and over. And then we take it to the outside. Now, if you'd like to keep your head down totally, you can. You still get a lot of work right here. I know some of us build tension in the neck very quickly, okay? So just be mindful of how you're feeling. You do not have to push it. 
more than likely we're feeling a little bit of heat building in the body. That's good. Heat is good. <laughs> especially right now. I don't know about you guys, but it's starting to get cold in Chicago or at least like cold for me because I grew up in Arizona. So I'm used to it being 90 degrees until like December. So it's like getting into the sixties and I am freezing cold. <laughs> Isn't that sad? Okay. Let's go for two more and we'll come on out of this. This is two. Good, and then last one. Good. With your last one, everything comes down through center. Take a second, take a breath. Okay, we build off of that, right? So knees are coming above the hips. If you know right away that's not for you, if you didn't like it on the first go, just keep your feet down. Legs are about um, hips distance apart. You can make a fist with your hand, put a fist between your knees. That's a good way to know if, you're, if you've you know, got enough space there, if you'll feel stable enough. Right hand comes back behind the head, left arm reaches up. When you're ready, we do it all together, arms and legs. We reach up and over to the outside of the right leg as the left toes tap down. We come back through center, open the left arm, reach up and over to the outside the leftmost out, whatever. <laughs> Same movement that we just did tapping the right toes down. What was I trying to say? The, the lefternmost edge of your body? <laughs> oh man. <sighs> if you're unsure or if I did a really bad job of explaining that, just watch for a rep pause and then when you're ready you come right back in okay so it's the same movement we've been doing through the arms now instead of lifting a leg we're tapping toes down towards the mat good Filming the challenge classes gets really tricky for me because I'm, I'm like filming so many classes like in a condensed period of time that sometimes I get to a point that my words just like are not cooperating with me anymore. So I very much appreciate you guys sticking with me. Let's go for three. For two. And then last one. Good. With that last one, everything comes in, head drops down, knees pull into your chest. You can take a little, take a little rock from side to side. Just a little massage on the backs of the hips. Reach your legs so that they go out in front of you. Feet about hips distance apart. You'll keep the knees bent. Reaching the arms up above the shoulders. Give me a big exhale as you press the hands down towards the tops of the legs, tucking chin to chest. You're going to roll yourself all the way up through seated. And then once you get right here, take the hands behind you, scoot the legs out to straight, scoop your hip, scoot your hips back, bring your hands so they come back behind the head. Reaching elbows out towards the sides of the room, flexing into your feet, staying active through the whole body, contracting the muscles. We take an inhale as we twist the upper body over towards the left, you'll pause. We're gonna do a little one, two pulse. You pulse back one, two, come through center. Same thing to the right. We twist the upper body, a little pulse, one, two, through center, and then to the left. One, two, one, two. Let's go for two more. Last one. Good. And then last one. Good. Everything comes through center. You're going to pause right here. Okay, keep the hands where they're at, reaching the elbows out towards the sides of the room, reaching the crown of the head up. From here, we start to tuck chin to chest. You're going to round through the upper back, round through the spine, the top half. We start to dive down towards our mat, like a nose dive. We'll get about halfway, probably right here. Inhale and then exhale, start to rebuild your spine restacking each little piece of your spine on top of the other until the shoulders come on top of the hips, the crown of the head 
lifts up. Let's just do that one more time. Inhaling at the top, exhaling as we come down. Inhale and then exhale, take it right back up. Good. With that last one, we're going to keep the hands behind the head. This last part, I don't think you guys are going to love, but we're going to do it. Okay. It's good to try new stuff. Elbows stay reaching out towards the sides of the room. We maintain a nice flat back. You'll inhale. Imagine that your hips are a door hinge. We use the upper half of the body to hinge back. Pause right there. Draw belly button to spine, find your C curve, and then roll all the way down to your mat. Shoulders go down, head goes down, okay? From here, you have two options. You can keep your hands behind your head or you can reach the arms up above the shoulders. You can also bend at your knees, keep the feet flat. Big exhale, we start to tuck chin to chest. You're lifting the shoulder blades, pressing into the hips, pressing into the heels. You roll yourself all the way up to seated and then come out of that curved spine, sit up nice and tall. We're doing that two more times. If you didn't like it, you're reaching the arms, you're doing a regular roll down, roll up, okay? This one uh, is neck pull. It's called neck pull, which is such a freaky name. It should not be called that, but it is. Hands behind the head, open up through the elbows. Inhale as we hinge back from the hips, find your C curve, drawing hips to ribs, and then rolling all the way down. Inhale here, exhale as we lift the shoulder blades, tucking chin to chest, pressing into the hips. Your arms can come up right here. The arms do a lot to help us to come off of the mat. I know it probably doesn't feel like they're helping you, but they are, I promise. Let me move my mic one more time. Okay, last time. Inhale here, nice flat back. Hinge back from the hips. Find your C curve, pulling hips to ribs. Roll it all the way down. Good, hands can stay behind the head or you can reach the arms. We tuck chin to chest, big exhale. <sighs> it's so much harder to come up that way. Reach the arms up above your shoulders once you get to seated. Take the left hand down towards your mat. Reach the right arm up, nice big side body stretch. Good, press everything up through center. Take the left hand down, reach the right arm up. Oh, sorry, right hand down, left arm up. Good, everything will come through center. And then from right here, let's bring the legs in, pop up to a tabletop. We'll move through a couple of cat cows and then I will let you get on with the rest of your day. Wrists underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. We'll inhale as we arch at the back, open up through the chest, draw the shoulder blades together. Big exhale, press up and away, curving the spine, looking to the tops of your legs, pointing the crown of the head down. Let's go for two, inhale as we arch. Exhale to press up and away. One more, we inhale, arch. And then exhale, press up and away. Good. From right here, hips are going all the way back to your heels. You can open up at your knees if you feel like you need a little bit more of a release at your lower back. If you need more mid back and you can bring your legs together, bring the legs together so we get a little bit of elevation. Okay, two different options. Do what's gonna work best for you. Play around with it. Pressing the chest down towards the mat, reaching the hands forward, letting the forehead and the nose come down towards your mat. Take a big inhale. Exhale out as you let it go. When you're ready, both hands walk over towards the right side of your mat. You're going to rest your left ear onto your left arm and then reach the right hand back. You can just reach the fingertips back or you can let your right hand find the top of your left hip. If you've got that flexibility in your shoulder, open things up. Good, we take a big inhale. Exhale out as you let it go. Right hand can find its way back towards your left. Walk your hands through center and then take it all the way over towards the left. We'll open up, resting the right ear onto the right arm, reaching the left arm back, perhaps bending the left elbow, reaching for the top of the right hip, spiraling open through the chest. Big inhale. Exhale as you let it go. Let's reach the left hand back in line with the right. Take it through center and then walk yourself up to seated. Once you get there, you can bring everything in. Take any other stretches you feel like you need, but you're all finished with me for the day. Hopefully you enjoyed this workout. If you did, as always, please let me know down in the comments. Make sure you mark off this class on your challenge tracker if you've got it on your bingo card. Remember, you're awesome. You can do anything you put your mind to and I will see you back here in our next video. I'm